everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Sandra from diary of an Aussie mum and here I am back in front of the heater to sit down and talk to you guys about my two week two week weight symptoms <laughs> So I am a 9 GPO at the moment um, and my app does say that I can test in two days so um, that's pretty exciting. I use the Ovia app um, and I don't know if you guys can see, I think you can. Um, so I'm cycle day 24, um, it says two days until pregnancy test and um, yeah just what I would share with you guys that I use the Ovia app um, which I'm completely loving um, it's just got everything um, it's been really good tracking my fertile days um, I used um, the same app when I was trying to conceive Luca and um, it took us three months of him and yeah I just love the app and then I went on to use the um, Ovia pregnancy after so I guess we'll start talking about the app now and start talking about my two week weight symptoms so far I've been putting them all down on my phone as I'm experiencing them because I didn't know how many I would have and I was thinking I might forget something and then I won't be able to share it with you guys so yeah I've been putting them all on my um, phone so Now the first one I have here is um, needing the toilet really, really fre frequently. Um, yeah, I've just, as soon as I drink some water, I feel like it's going straight through me. Um, like I have mentioned in another one of my videos, I um, drink lots and lots of water. Um, probably not as much in winter, but yeah, as soon as I have that glass, I'm rushing to the toilet. And um, yeah, that's just been a small little symptom I've noticed last three or four days um, but like I said that's I'm only really nine DPO so I'm not sure if that's really a symptom that I'm supposed to be experiencing already um, another symptom that I've been experiencing is two-week weight is bloating I am so so bloated um, I felt bloated all week really um, ever since I got out of my fertile period um like i said a 9 dpo so yeah at least the last seven days i've been um feeling like my food isn't really processing properly it sounds kind of gross isn't it but yeah um yeah it's just kind of hanging around and i've got that kind of puffy belly so now i don't know if you guys can hear it but i am so so stuffy and i've been like this all week like a good seven days um that's been like a major symptom I don't know if it's a symptom but it's what I've been feeling all week um, like I have a really heavy head my head just feels completely clogged up like I wake up really clogged up um, I can't sleep all night because which is actually really odd for me because usually I have a problem with my sinuses where I usually have a runny nose so it's usually the opposite of what I'm feeling at the moment so that's been kind of strange um well really strange for me probably not that strange for you guys but yeah since I do have hay fever usually it's been the opposite where I'm just clogged and yeah I feel like my head's so heavy <laughs> now this last symptom has probably been the one symptom that I've been like oh could I be pregnant this is because with Luca I had really sensitive teeth and gums and I actually had a lot of dental issues and I was pregnant with him and in the last three days uh, my teeth have been so sensitive or sorry more my gums rather than my teeth have been so sensitive when I've been brushing them um, I haven't noticed the sensitivity when I'm eating or drinking hot or cold foods or anything like that it's just when I've been brushing my teeth which is really uncomfortable they feel really inflamed, they hurt when I um, have the toothbrush rubbing against them um, and they also look swollen so that's been the one thing I was I even started googling like is this a pregnancy symptom and apparently it is so that's probably been the only symptom that I've been like oh you know this could be it um, but yeah that's pretty much sorry this is such a short video but I did say I'll upload it but then I was thinking there's not really that much to say um but that's really 
all my symptoms. I am my, in my first month trying to conceive. Well, I should say we are in our first month trying to conceive. Um, so I don't expect it to happen straight away, obviously. Um, and I know there are people out there that wait years um, trying for a baby. And um, you guys are all amazing. So yeah, I don't expect it to happen the first month, um, which is why I've completely stocked up on my TTC items. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I have picked up before I go. This first response test kit um, is new. So it's got not only the two normal in-stream tests, but it comes also with one digital test to confirm, which I think is really cool. And it was on sale and it was cheaper than the, um, just the three in-stream ones. So I thought I have to snap that up for my um, TTC pack um, that I'm kind of hiding <laughs> in my drawer although Scott knows all about it because he knows I'm a pee on a stick addict. Another thing I just picked up from the supermarket is just a first response um, three dipsticks. They're just obviously cheaper than the in stream ones uh, but I do trust them more than my um, internet cheapies which I'm about to show you. Um, so yeah I usually use these a later uh, at later DPO then I use my um, into dip six because I'm a bit of a um, yeah like I said periodistic addict so um, when I know I'm doing it too early I use the internet chief it's just to get out of my system and then um, the um, the more DPO I get I start using these and then just before my um, just before my periods due I actually use the in stream um, first response ones which I take a, uh, that result I take a lot more seriously. We've got um, just a cute little pink digital thermometer because if we don't conceive this month uh, we will be temping from next month. Well, so I guess I will be temping, Scott won't be. Um, I did get a lot of internet cheapies, it's really really cheap, I think this was like 10 or 12 dollars or something, um, or like 40, sorry, um, 20 pregnancy tests and um, 40 ovulation tests. Um, I will admit I haven't been using the cheapy ovulation test. I've been using um, these clear blue digital ovulation tests. Um, I did do a review, uh, a video on a review of them, so I'll link that up top for you guys. But yeah, I haven't been using these at all, so um, I don't know, maybe if it takes us longer, I'll start using them. Um, but yeah, these urine pregnancy test strips are super cheap and you get heaps. But yeah, I just, um, um, for some reason, when I get a result from them, like I don't trust it. So I feel like I have to test with um, one of the name brands anyway. So I don't know if it's really worth it because I don't take it seriously. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of my TTC stash. Um, I will be taking a pregnancy test in um, two days, like my app recommends. Um, I'll first use these. Uh, first response dipsticks um, and then if that's a positive I confirm with the in-stream one um, and if it's negative I would just take another in-stream one um, in three days time or a day after I've taken these does that make sense anyway so I'm really excited um, to be able to even do this on YouTube because um, it's really funny because I asked my partner I'm like when we decided TTC early I was like um, can I tell YouTube? Can I um, share on my channel? And I was so expecting him to say no. And uh, funny enough, he's like, sure, whatever. So I was just shocked that he was comfortable enough for me to share this on here. And I'm just so excited because I've always wanted to do this. And I think it's totally cool. And I've been watching um, other YouTubers doing these TTC journeys and pregnancy journeys. And I get to be one of them now. So if you haven't subscribed yet, um, please do because... Um, yeah, it's going to be a really fun journey. Um, those that have already subscribed, thank you. Um, every time I get a new subscriber, I get so excited. It's so lame, but I really, really do. I just, like, I'm always jumping up and down when I, when I see that number go up. So if you guys have any questions for me, please do um, put them down on the comments below. Um, I love answering questions. I love chatting with you guys. I feel like um, YouTube is one big community. And um, it makes me feel like I'm less just talking to you guys and more with you guys. Um, any questions that um, you do pop below, I will answer in my next video. And yeah, 
awesome <laughs> thank you so much and i'll see you next time guys bye